Um, hi, students. Here's what we are. Uh, right now, we're at COVID uh, threat level two, which is yellow, which is heightened concern. Over the last week or two, we've seen us inching uh, up in that category. And that's why you saw us um, issue that quarantine that we did for last week and this week in the hopes of, of stemming that and staying squarely within that level two. From my perspective, I think you've been doing a great job. When I see you on campus, when I see you walking around the community, you're, I see you social distancing, I see you wearing masks. Please keep it up. I think what we're really fighting against here is asymptomatic transmission or very mild cases. Here's what I mean. When you get the coronavirus, um, you oftentimes don't have any symptoms at all or you have symptoms that are so mild you don't realize that's what it is. And that means that before you even realize it, you could have very unknowingly, unwittingly shared it with others. It's different for folks my age. When we get coronavirus, when we get COVID, we, we know it. We have symptoms and then we go to bed and we stay there. So I, I think you're doing a good job, but we do need to ask you to keep putting the masks on, keep being mindful of social distance, keep those practices up. And why? Because we want this to be the best semester it can be under the circumstances. We want to stay here together and finish the semester the way we would like it to be or as much as it could be under the circumstances. I know this is awful. It's so different than what my undergraduate college experience was like. I was very active in student clubs and organizations. Um, and, and that's something that has probably for many of you felt kind of uh, cut off or changed because of how we're interacting now. It will return and we want to preserve as much of it as we can. So that's why I'm asking us to to keep up the good work and maybe even back up a little more, mask up a little more, do those kinds of things so we're all really careful. You might ask, how will we know if something's going to change again? And my answer is there's a whole variety of factors that go into it. You might wish or assume that there's just a single number. When we hit this many cases, it doesn't work like that because even as students are, are becoming active cases of COVID, other students are moving off the active list because they've transitioned out of it. Uh, there's a bunch of other factors having to do with trend lines and staff uh, and facility availability. So there isn't one simple number, but you can find resources on our websites where we'll keep you updated on where we stand and what our numbers are like. And I really encourage you to avail yourself of those resources. And the hope is that we'll stay the whole semester. We'll be here and nobody's going home. And it won't be like it was last spring for those of you who were here then. And, and the way to do that is for us to all work together, shared responsibility, and you know, wear our masks when we can, back up when we can, get the checkup if we're not feeling well, fill in those that self-assessment tool every day. Um, we want to know what you're thinking. We want to know what you're feeling. So please get in touch with us and let us know what's on your mind and so we can respond and keep you safe and healthy and get you the best experience you possibly can. So hang in there and be a warrior. Thank you.